Here's Aras. How may I help you, friend? Pineleaf, it is good to see you again. I am just about to head north to Urkar's encampment. I will give him the meeting place that Harian suggested. And what is that meeting place? I will let Harian tell you, for it is not my place. We shall all return to Lynn here together. For Gondor! Alright, so let's see Harian. These are troublesome times indeed. Ah, uh, Pineleaf, you have returned. You provided Gondor with the light in these dark times. I am sure others will look up to you much as I do now. Look up to me. Why, am I going to be standing on a barrel or something? Oh, while you were conquering these forces in Baradril, Iris and I managed to defeat half a dozen scouts, a mere grain of sand next to your mountainous deeds. I suppose we all do our part in this conflict. We have dwelled here too long, my friend. The time has come to meet with my brother Urkar and return to Lynn here. This darkness is a weight on my mind. The time has come to return to Lynn here for Erkar and I. Come with us, Pineleaf, and I, we shall all return victorious thanks to your deeds. Garvir will welcome us back with open arms. Together we can repair Lynn here and defend it from the Corsairs. First, we must pay our respects to those who have fallen in battle during the noble protection of Dor in Irnail. Let me know when you are ready, and we shall begin our journey. Alright. Then, let's begin. Let's pay our respects before returning. Brothers Erhard and Herion return to the site of a battle that drove them apart. You accompany them to pay respects before the returning journey to lean here. How may I help you, friend? You have made your way to this place of grief with Harrion and I. Thank you for reuniting us to, to return to Linear. All right. Brother, it is good to see you again. We have accomplished much for Gondor in our time apart. It is good to see you as well, but this is not a joyous time. I look to see only death. I see noble men who sacrifice themselves for our land. Pineleaf defeated the leader of the enemy. Victory is at hand. I persuaded you to take the dunes, Harrion. Now I ask you to return to Lin here. I shall not bicker any longer with thee. Come, let us pay our respects. Erker, I too take care of these men. I care about winning this war. I do not apologize for Garvir. I will in your stead. I have done no wrong. Quiet now. Let us pay our respects to these poor souls. Alright. So let's deal before each of these. Now the next one. Now the next one. And kneel to the next one. Let's bury them so that the wolves will not come and have them for their own. So that they may rest in peace. 
until all is right again. Now, let's see, here is the last one. And we are done. These are troublesome times indeed. Urkas does not see the greatness that we have accomplished, only the loss. Do not mistake my words, for I too am saddened by the difficulty of our enemy and the lives they have taken. What I ask for is hope for my brothers to get through this dawnless day. There's not but ill omens these days. Harrion is stubborn, and I cannot see that I have made a mistake in riding west into the enemy. This is not a decision I wish to make again, in a rash or wise. Come, let us return to Lynn here, and where I will apologize to Garver for my absence and for Harrion's. And let us return then. Ah, we're back. This darkness is a weight on my mind. Though we do not always agree, my brothers and I must stick together. We are stronger as one than when we were apart. I thank you again for your assistance, Pineleaf. We could not have reunited without your help. If only my father, Cormaldir, were alive. I could use his guidance in these dark times. Ooh, a nice ring. Let's see. The dead are still in Dor and Urnil? Why have these spirits delayed? Aragorn and his men rode east with them to Pelagir. Well, yes, but there's this other group that's f on their own agenda, unfortunately. I see. Perhaps our doom is unavoidable then. How can we stand against fear incarnate? This bodes ill for us, Pineleaf. The dead only serve to add to our troubles, and I now fear that any hope of an advantage is gone. I have thought much about what can be done to stop them, but nothing has proved worthwhile. Speak with my men, Glarion and Durnir. They are my only two remaining captains. Perhaps they may see something that I have not. All right. Let's find Glarion and Durnir. And perhaps... Perhaps I could find some path around here also. Ah, always getting lost in these big cities that these big people like to build. No open places to make things easy to see. Well, now, where did he say they were? Oh. Hello. I do not want to weigh you down with our troubles, but... The Corsair fleet is making poor time on its way to Pelagir, for they often stop to pillage the coastline. They believe victory is so near they need not hurry, and I fear they are right. I do not want to weigh you down with our troubles, Pineleaf, for you have already been a help, but... <sighs> A child has gone missing. No one knows for certain if she is lost, but none have seen her since the last Corsair attack. If you could investigate their camp to the northeast, I would be in your debt. My friends have already suffered so much of late. Losing their child, Roniel, would be the gravest hurt of all. All right. Well... Let's see what we have here. Ah, Glanion. This darkness is a weight on my mind. How are we to defeat the dead? Neither man nor beast can raise arms against them, and Garver knows this well. 
They simply vanish from sight when they think them wounded, and they reappear not long after. It is a fruitless endeavor. The only hope we have is that they will pass over Gilrain and leave us be. I say we hold as best we can against the Corsairs and Haradrim. At least a blade might wound them. There's not but ill omens these days. Oh, and speaking of Haradrim, could you please kill them for me? Alright, and... Let's see, where is... Where's Durnir? Dern here, somewhere down this way. And if I could find him, we can actually just double time it a little bit and Ah yes, by the Canal, river, whatever that is. This darkness is a weight on my mind. I do not see what can be done. Look at the sky, Pine Leaf. Hope is in short supply here, and most of our men have gone east to face down the growing darkness. We have no heroes here, no one left to protect our people, except for us. Who are we to stand against such numbers? The return of the dead is just one last cruel jest. Not much hope in them at all. Well, we will have to see. Surely we could come up with something. Something that can be done. Well, I'll first talk to Garvir, and unless he has something very pressing. I will go find those men that I still need to find, and that child. Gondor needs your aid. I guessed as much, Pineleaf. It is hard to keep the men from despair in these dark days. I do not know what can be done. Nothing outside of, si of the sisters in the stories of old could aid us now, but they are just that. Stories. There is a man named Tonkastel here who would speak otherwise, but he is old and foolish. Not but children and madden dare pay him any heed. I do not wish to be disrespect, but I would like to be alone in my thoughts for a time. Well, I do have a couple of people to look for, and. Hmm. Well, while he's thinking, maybe I'll find out who these sisters are. And who knows? Maybe the missing child is connected with that story somehow. You never know. I've seen some rather strange things in my travels through this land. So let's see. Oh, where's the bridge? Oh, on the other side. Oh, no, there it is. <sighs> Always get getting lost in this place, aren't I? Always getting lost. All right, now let's... Place is too big. All right, and... Oh, oh. Ah. <sighs> Oh, come on! Who built this place? Just do this to make a poor hobbit lost, don't you? Just make me think that maybe, maybe I'll find the right path, and no, you take it away. 
All right, now. Uh, hello there. Have you heard the rumors of enemies pressing in from all sides? Uh, yeah, I've heard such rumors. Uh, why have you come to me, Warden? Have you come to dismiss me like Corandir and his sons often do? The people of Levon do not so callously ignore their history. But I digress. Ah, uh, no. I see your face that concerns matters most grim. Will we ever see the sun again? Long ago, the people of Gondor spoke of five sisters. One that held sway over each of the rivers of Lebanon. Now, most of the people think them little more than a tale passed down from their forebearers, but I assure you, they are as real as I am. Maybe they're relatives of Goldberry? Before I ask, no, they have not revealed themselves to us, but it has been said that they return to watch over us in times of strife. With war at our gates and the sky smothered in fumes of smoke, I can think of no more likely time for them to return. The faithful of my people pay tribute to the sisters of Gilrain, and we have river stones of in her honor. Take my stone and travel to the mere along Gilrain. Once you are there, lay it at the water's edge, and let us hope our faith has not been misplaced, or the dead will consume us all. All right. Search for the mirror of the Gilrain. Therefore, I have quite a bit to do. I need to, well, if I run into those refugees, probably I found all I'm going to find those for a while. Let's see. Alright. What have we need to do? Well, one thing for sure. I think. Yes. Oh, I don't think that's the right way to go. So, therefore, we need to head out the... Ah, just read the map again. Well, I am lost again, and when I get found, I will be returning for another episode of Pineleaf in Gondor.